prescription medication they can give you. You can adjust your diet. You know, there's heaps of shit you can do for erectile dysfunction. But we'll just talk about that after. Welcome to episode number 34 on the Marty and Michael Fully Full Full. Fully Actual Podcast. The Wise Bent. <clears throat> yeah, I did that on purpose. I just wanted you to get up. Did um, you straighten it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, right now, oh, right now is the 9th of November and the Australian Podcast Awards. I don't even know. It was a oh. thing. Look at Matt. Matt's on camera. Mm. Uh, the Australian Podcast Awards are on right now. It's hot. Are you guys hot? It's a hot day. Um, so if you want to vote for us, the listeners' choice, we forgot to even register for all the big competitions like best comedy and best blah, blah, blah. So all we got is a listeners' choice award, which is, which is, it's, well, it's you guys listening. So if you want to vote for us, go just Google Australian Podcast Awards and then search uh, Marty and Michael for the actual and then uh, vote for us if you want. When's the June? Uh, I think the the winners, the, 18th? the winners are out on the 21st of November or some shit, bro. Too ah. good. Um, yeah. What's so. been what what? First of all, what's been happening? We got some fucking cool new segments, some some good shit coming on. But this podcast wouldn't even be possible. Wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for our website, our subscription website, where we post two brand new videos every week. And fuck me, the website's all fixed. It's running smoothly again. We got like 120 videos on there. Did you know that? 120 vids? It's unbelievable. That's like fucking... That's like more than Netflix, Two years worth. God, we've made a lot of videos. We've heard us uh, a lot of blood has been shed for your entertainment. So if you want to support us, go subscribe. It's only $5 a month. Anyway, we've got some brand new segments this week. We're going to... There's a segment called... um, uh, sentences that no one has ever said before. And then we're going to do the secrets. No fucking P.O. Box. You guys are getting a bit... Bl- yeah, what the... What the fuck is that? I Why have are people heard from sending us shit? I've heard from some people they have sent stuff. It's just... Uh, maybe it's, it's, it's just from overseas. Maybe it's the post while. office. Maybe someone sent drugs. This is what I've come up with, okay? <laughs> someone sent drugs and now... <laughs> now the they're C- checking it all. The CIA watching. are fucking after us. They're inside the house. <laughs> There's one over there. They fucking we got like two kilos of coke and it's been taken. Ooh, Bosley. Where Bos- is he? See, they're here. Oh, there he is. What doing? the fuck was? Ooh, Bosley's not happy. Bosley's yeah, run to the they're window. Fucking, they're about to raid the house. Oh, shit, the CIA's here. Good boy, Bosley. Mm. Yeah, you fucking let it's been let great. everyone know it's not safe to come near here. Yeah, Good so, boy. Or the fucking post office man who's always grumpy, he might have put a ban on our fucking P.O. box. No, I think people just haven't sent us some shit in yeah. a while. Someone's, like, okay, no, there's the been like a now, few boss. people who have sent through messages saying they've sent stuff, but it, they've sent it to the wrong address. Oh, well, that'll bloody do it too. So, but they said they're waiting for it to get back to theirs and they're going to resend it to our actual address. Matt gave us a bit of a scare last week. Nothing. Yeah, wow. We've been just working our asses off, just filming, and nothing it, it too exciting except for fucking Matt made us bloody um, oh. all go to the hospital last week. Yeah. Oh, my tummy hurts. Oh, my tummy I was, hurt. man. Bosley. It could have been, I thought it had something to do with the hemorrhoid. <laughs> I was h- hoping. Yeah, God. And that would have been so cool. You got hospitalized for you had hemorrhoids. You a whole family of hemorrhoids living inside you. <laughs> and they're having an argument. That's what the pain was. That's what I thought initially. <laughs> Matthew Brown was sent to the emergency and we came to save him. Marty and Michael came to save him. And then it turns out he's just been eating too many stones from kidneys. <laughs> stones produced by kidneys in his urethra. Yeah, oh, so- did you piss it out yet? Yeah, it's out. Oh, did you well, did you keep it? No, I'd eat it. Hang on. So, yeah, it's not. It's it was so small. I I doubt I would have been able to spot it if it came out. Did, oh, did you yeah, happen to go through those painkillers? Oh, you said you were saving us a story to tell us Sorry, on the podcast. Sorry, should we start from the start? No. Nah. So start from the middle and then cycle back to the start and then back <laughs> to the back and don't finish. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't had a good run with the health. The. Uh, yeah, yeah Matt Brown health words. lately. So, basically, what happened was um, I was at work and I was uh, in the office in a meeting of all things, and I just had pain in like the front part of my stomach, front left, and um, yeah, 
I, uh, I went home early. I laid down and then in, come the afternoon. Um, you started screaming. Yeah, it was it was so painful uh, that, yeah, it was. Apparently, it's he one said, of yeah, it's just like childbirth. It's, it's more. He it's said that. And it's, I'm, it's I'm worse. saying it. It's worse than childbirth. A lot Matt of the said that. Yeah, a lot of the nurses were saying to me that, yeah, well, basically what I got was a kidney stone. And yeah, a lot of nurses said it was. It can be almost on par with childbirth. Right, and pain. then you you correct her and said, no, this is far worse than this childbirth. This is worse, you fucking bitch. Yeah, and you said, get back in the kitchen. Maybe you told her to get back in the kitchen. We don't agree with that. That was maybe a bit too very Matt. strong opinion about this. Girls, you heard it here first. Kidney stones are worse than childbirth, according to Matt Brown. <laughs> um but uh, there's some interesting interesting experiences when I was in there. So I got there, I was in a lot of pain. I felt like I was going to vomit. It's you just you're in constant pain that you start to feel sick. And uh, before before I started really like getting crippled with pain, I was a bit hungry and I hadn't eaten because I was I went home and um, I ate chocolate chip cookies just as a snack. Mm. And then I went to hospital. So when I got there, I hadn't really eaten much except for chocolate chip cookies. Mm. So and I was I was screaming. Did you get fingered? Can you wait? So, okay. I'm just, I'm excited. So, oh. so basically, I'm there. I'm and then you got fingered? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, wait. So, I was screaming in pain and um, they're, they're rigging my arm up for a drip to obviously put painkillers in. <clears throat> and uh, so, as this poor nurse is doing that, I'm yelling in pain while vomiting into a bag um, at the same time. And I'm quite a loud vomiter. <laughs> It pretty much, yeah. So that's happening, and and everyone in that little emergency section is just staring at me because I'm the commotion. That's and because you got your own fingers in your ass. Did you finger yourself? Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they injected me with fentanyl. Mm. Lucky boy. Ah. Yeah. When you say they, you mean some dude Lucky at the front boy. of the hospital. Yes. And. Uh, just to everyone, fentanyl's quite strong. I was instantly um, happy. Aroused. That's when you guys uh, a bit later showed up. I was on fentanyl and oh yeah, you were a bit giggly. I, a I got a mood. few free feels, and oh, he yeah. was cool with yeah. it. Yeah, brother. <laughs> um, I have to admit, I got a good laugh when you guys came in. It made me feel feel good. Mm-hmm. Um, good at that. But uh, yeah, I went home, and then unfortunately the pain came back. So if you can picture it, the stone travels in sort of a zigzag I can trip to that. get there, and it gets caught. I can't picture on the way, and unfortunately, mine got caught, and it was causing more pain. So I had to go back to the hospital, um, where they didn't give me fentanyl again. They just put me on just fingers medication. They put you on fingers. Uh, like at least a how picky. come they fingered you? Why do they have to so, shove fingers in your ass to trying to scrape the yeah. stone yeah. out? So I can explain this. So um, I had a really nice nurse named Kim and, and a doctor. I can't quite remember her name. They, Kim. And they Did came she have over. tits? I didn't see. I was in pain. And um, they came over and they said, listen, you can take tablets orally. And, or we can finger you. But if they put it... <laughs> 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 but if they put it... um, <laughs> You got fingered. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. <laughs> so, but if they put it, uh, you know, rectally, uh, they, they reckon the, the painkiller goes quicker and will go for the... He did get faster. fingered. Let me finish. Oh, my God. This is exciting. All right, I'm listening. <laughs> so, they said... They said it's probably a better option to yeah take it on the ass. Oh, much. that's hot! So Kim, my lovely nurse, spread your cheeks, spat um, in your asshole. <laughs> 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 but basically, <Woo>! yeah. <laughs> basically, she sure. she goes, all right. Well, well, um, I'll give you two oh. options. <laughs> I'll give you two options. So she goes. I can give you lubricant and you can do it yourself or, uh, or she'll do it Oh, you me. let her do it. Well, I just didn't think I could fi- push a <laughs> you finger so far on the GM. Right. You got to fucking, what, third base? Oh, my second, God. You got second base with bloody Kim. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Upon oh. request. <laughs> upon request. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> oh, you asked for a finger. Upon request. Oh. And I was trying to keep the mood light, so I was like, "There's a first time for everything, I guess." <laughs> and um, Fuck and then, man, but the worst part fingers. was, I I'm like, I, I was still recovering from a hemorrhoid, so it's still just a little bit there. At oh the time. yeah, did it bleed? Yeah. So and I so I said to her, I said, to her, "Just a warning." What's the hemorrhoids on the way <laughs> in, <Yeah>. dog? <laughs> 
<laughs> I said to her, got to apologize. I'm, I'm recovering from hemorrhoids. You might see that on the way in. And so I've taken my pants down and she's looked at it. She goes, oh, yeah, I can cheeks. see. <laughs> it was still there. Yeah, yeah, it was still there. Yeah, I was, so I was, she got, got down. to see it, but your best mates didn't. No, unfortunately you not. Fucking ass. You even let her stick a finger in your ass. You won't even fucking show us. <laughs> God damn it. And then oh, I'm pissed. Actually. Yeah, so she got in there, and mm. I thought, and it got to the point where I didn't realize, you know, what where she was at, and then I just where got, you were, you were did fucking, you jizz? And no, she got she hard. put it in, and it it's this. I felt this sliding sensation <laughs> come out of my ass, and I thought she'd come out, and I'd shat myself. But did, it was she actually, went, did she go no, back it was in? Just, no, it was just her fingers coming out. It just felt slimy. No thought. blood. Um, there was a little bit, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, yeah. Dude. Matt got fingered at the hospital. And yeah. I, but I've turned to her and I said, I said, oh, I'm so more! sorry. I want more. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, I've turned to her and I've gone, I've, and I've gone, I'm so sorry. Because I literally thought I shat myself. I was like, I'm so sorry. And she, and she goes, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. You know, we, we do this every day. And I said, I said, oh my God. And I said, I said, and she goes, pull your pants up. You're all good. And I was like, oh. and I said, oh, and I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought I shat myself. Oh, oh, sorry, and I she's just, just haven't come yet. She <laughs> just, <laughs> you shove them back in. <laughs> <laughs> she's giggled and walked off. And at that exact moment, my girlfriend's come back in. Just, oh. missed, just missed it. So she could have done it. Yeah, probably. That would have given her the option, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Except wow. she's got nails. So I, I wasn't. Yeah, a, put put it under the nail and pluck it in there. Boop. Put it into the lining. <laughs> but just a side note, I, I have been told before that um, people get a stronger effect of, uh, of drugs, all kinds of drugs, if you uh, take it up the ass. Yeah, yeah, we've done that before. Shelving, dude, it's the best. Yeah. Shelving? It's called yeah. shelving, yeah. yeah. You fucking anyway. put a pinger up there, it hits you way harder. Marty has some on this days. <sighs> well, I'll be reading them. Matthew Brown supplied them. Haven't you, Matthew, eh? Oh, dude, you had the best week, actually. Like, it was, you were fucking playing, oh my God, look at me, I'm in hospital. You had the best week. You had a you, finger in your you ass. You had the best month. You've had a hemorrhoid for fucking ages. <laughs> and then you got fingered and there was blood. I had a kidney stone, then I got fingered. Yeah, the kidney stone, I, I guess everything evens out. Everything evens out in I a way. I can't believe you cheated. <laughs> I Did you tell ever, the GF? I wonder. Yeah, hundred percent. I wonder if they've ever, if anyone's ever come from fingers in the ass. Well, yeah, I heard you. There's, there's, a a thing. there's a prostate. Remember up that there. movie Road Trip with yeah, Sean Scott? Surely that's bullshit. I heard it's real because no. the prostate's like that. That's yeah. how nurses, if you can't jizz it at like a mm. cum bang, they milk you. Yeah, they milk you. Basically, they shove fingers in there and they they fall. like it's yeah, in fucking a word American for it. Pie. My mum's a nurse. Isn't there a word for it? On this day in 1997. Owen Wilson visited his local zoo, but was mistaken for a springbok. He calmly kept trying to explain that he was in fact a man, but the zookeepers had already made their mind up. He was tranquilized and placed in the springbok enclosure. He stayed there for three years, but the zoo sold him to a private buyer when the springbok mating program they had him in wasn't producing any offspring. After countless attempts, the male bull springboks just couldn't seem to impregnate him, so they labeled Owen as a barren springbok unfit for reproduction and sold him. What the fuck is a springbok? It's like a uh, deer. Similar to a deer. <laughs> the fucking hair flick. Oh, you, you get to do it, mate. It's about, I want to turn two cunt. <laughs> I'm growing my hair out, everyone. <laughs> fucking growing out, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's my personality that goes with it. <laughs> In 2007, oh, it's good. Kanye it's West good. was diagnosed with severe autism and a hint of cerebral palsy. His doctor was paid to stay quiet about the diagnosis, but changed his mind and went to the police when he saw Kanye savagely biting his own pectoral muscles off. He was deemed a danger to himself and others, but paid the police to forget about it. He then paid himself to forget about it, and that's why he never says anything about it. Oh, that's... Fuck, that's, that makes sense. Yeah, he definitely... You can definitely tell he's got some cerebral palsy when His he His pecs walks. are all fucked up, too. Well, I think the doctor stopped him, but yeah, they could be. Fuck me, it's hard to wear, um... Slang bang. You've got, like, backup hair. Yeah. I've always got backup hair, cunt. On this day... 
In 1943, Bruce Willis hatched from his egg after lying dormant for several hundred years. (laughs) The rest of the brood were all stillborns and subsequently eaten by his mother. Bruce hit full-grown manhood at the age of nine and was bald by age 11 due to the heavy amounts of testosterone and mercury in his blood. His mother nests in some caves near Greece where she awaits Bruce's return to begin reproduction and the next generation of the Willis creatures. <laughs> <laughs> the Willis. Oh, so good. On this day in 2015, Lindsay Lohan started selling jars of her own morning breath to blind people. She claims the morning breath has many health benefits, including increased immunity, increased vision, and weight loss. The blind people who buy from her say that they're still blind, but they definitely feel like it's helping with weight loss, as one jar of Lindsay's morning breath will suppress your appetite for over 12 hours. Next, Lindsay plans on turning her morning breath into a thick, spreadable paste for bread and wraps. Good luck, Lindsay. Lohan. You look like a fucking mad scientist out there. <laughs> Do you want that fucking bit of hair to stay back? Who's got a Tuck knife? It in under your Who's got a knife? You flung Lang Lang. So you, you pull that. Fuck! Ah! Fucking long hair. Yahoo. Yeah. I better? feel like Orlando Bloom from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you look like him a bit. <laughs> I've killed more than you have, Grimly. <laughs> he's Grimly. The, the little elf. No. Little, little dwarf. <laughs> no, it's Gimli. It's Gimli. I've killed more. Gimli. I've killed more oh, orcs than you have, the Gimli. Biggest way to shoot You're Gimli and I'm Orlando Bloom. <laughs> what do I have an axe? Can you say. It's crab mine from Dunlin. Hide! It's crab mine from Dunlin. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, oh. that is the end of On This Day, which leads us to our next segment, next segment, next segment, next segment, next oh. segment, next segment, next questions. Questions? Okay. Ooh. Um, oh, wait, function, that's then. Matt. That's Matt Brown. Matt! 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 That's what he's named this segment. Just um, remember to comment on the podcast on the YouTube and I'll get all the questions. Yeah, sp- any Spotify listeners, anyone listen somewhere else, go, if you want us to answer one of your questions, fucking comment on our fucking podcast YouTube channel in the fucking comments and we'll fucking read it out. Can! <laughs> I'm Orlando Bloom. <laughs> I'm Orlando Bloom. <laughs> all right. Special. Question for the podcast from Jacob. Uh, in a zombie apocalypse, what do you think would be the first to go out of the three of us? As us three. I watched a zombie movie the other day and it was Zombie Land Double Tap. Oh, it's good fun. The first one's better. I think Michael would be the first to go because he'd, be, um, he'd be doing something silly, like raking the leaves from his lawn. <laughs> and a zombie would walk past and grab him. He's too confident. His confidence will get him killed. Uh, Are they slow zombies or fast? Oh, we just have to think that they're the worst kind. Oh, fuck me. Like yeah. World War Z. I'd be safe stuff. as hell if they were fast. If and they if were they slow, were, I'd take And risks. if we were all cornered, I'd feed Michael to them. <laughs> yeah, you'd fucking throw me. I can't throw you. <laughs> yeah, kick him in the kneecaps. I love, have you there. seen Dawn of the Dead where they hide in the yeah, mall? That's a brilliant film. That is 28 good. Days Later is probably my favorite <sighs> zombie film. That's scary. Yeah, Although they're... World War Z Zomb- seems the most unsurvivable one. Zombies are yeah. so shit when they're slow. I never got... What's that fucking movie? That Walking Dead. Walking oh Dead. Oh my God. Slow. Walking Dead. They're literally fucking walking. There's nothing There's nothing scary about something slowly walking towards you. Just walk away. Cool show though. How that's like an adventure. So slow. If you got eaten by one of them, you're a fucking dickhead. You're a fucking dumb bitch. Ooh. Wow. Sorry. It's okay. But World War Z scenario would be definitely the most fucked. World sorry, Z, yeah, sorry that's got that. Brad Pitt in it. Yeah, I can't remember that. Twenty eight days later, not fun either. Oh God! And twenty eight weeks I'm, I'm later. I'm sorry. It's all right, dude. Rumors of a third one. Twenty eight months later. No, there's not. Yes, there no, is. True story. Yes, there is. They just, they just, has, they just never brought it out. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to level out my emotions. <laughs> 
<laughs> Next question. Sorry. Oh, um, question for the podcast from Holes of Holes. <laughs> Um, Marty, are you able uh, to do a vid on how to teach German? No, I wouldn't know. You just fucking, you say it. You just spit gibberish. You just speak Stern German. Stern biskokli bokli. <laughs> that's how you say it. That's my nickname in German. <laughs> that's, my nick- that's my mother's fucking pet name for me, cunt. <laughs> that's how fucked that language is, you fucking cunt. <laughs> nah, 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 no one ever taught me. I just had it. So just have it. It's just there. Next question um, is from uh, one of our regulars, Nikki. I cannot pronounce the last name because I'll butcher it. Um, question for the podcast. What do you guys, what do you think your relationship is like between you two? Is it a close friendship? Is it a brother scenario or is it a real bromance? Hmm. Mm, very good. It goes question. in waves. Fucking yeah, I agree. It comes and goes in waves. <laughs> Sometimes we're boyfriends. <laughs> 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 yeah, God. <laughs> No, I don't know. Yeah, just I guess. <laughs> we just fucking known each other for ages and we just love each other. So it's like a brother almost. Yeah. 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 But we're, I guess all three in ways. Yeah. I didn't... What, bromance, friendship. What was the other one? Uh, bromance. So bromance. brothers and bro- brothers or bromance. Brothers. Oh, it's, it's just like... Very similar. But they're bromance all the same. is a bit lovable. You two have had sex. Question for the podcast <laughs> from Sabrina. Um, if the view, if the universe had an end, what do you think it would look like? Cows. So <laughs> 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 the wicked witch of the west. <laughs> oh, I've got that fucking eyelash or <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. Yeah, can't fucking here we go. Another ten minutes of the podcast. These can't talk to fucking eyelashes. Can't <laughs> rip it out and get on with it. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> So this question um, is more regards to your your social media mates. Um, do you know if Shami is half Indian? Uh, I think so. I think I'd he's got Indian and Fijian something else something? in him. Yeah, Fijian. I think his mum's completely Australian and his dad's like Indian Fijian or something. That's what I think so, yeah. Hmm. And uh, the other question is, um, do you know who Kristen's dad is? Yeah, uh, Mr. Hanby. Exactly. Lives in Jersey. Yeah. All right, next question. Um... This is a good one. Would you guys ever streak again? Maybe the tennis question mark. Nah, not the tennis. It'd have to be an event where there's like everyone's fucking ratty and this fucking everyone's pissing the crowd count. <laughs> do you reckon should we do State of Origin? Alright. I'm in. You've convinced us, Matt. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. Next question. <clears throat> um oh, this is more of a more hypothesis. Wisdom, but I do agree Shit. with what he said. Um, so it came from Rob Gu. Doubt it. Uh, whoever gave you death threats really needs to start living their life and stop being such a loser. Can you pass this wisdom on to your fans? I thought you could comment on the thought of death threats coming through to you. Oh, they're fucking used to them now. Oh, yeah. I've, yeah Keep like, them coming. Yeah, Come it's on. entertaining. What are you mm. fucking got, bro? Fucking sleeping in your fucking uppercut, cunt. Oh, shit. Fucking cunt. Um, oh, oh shit. next question from PJ. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um, another streaking question, but how much would it cost for you guys to do it again next year at the grand final? Next year, AFL? 50 hundred. Oh, it MCG depends. would be harder. I reckon it'd be easier. Ooh. Let's, yeah, why don't we do a video? Where's it harder to streak at in at the Gabber or the fucking MCG? Can't. <laughs> 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 Matt's shaking his head in disgust. <laughs> the Just wig this. makes you <laughs> see <laughs> so <laughs> Get up, boys! Get up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> no, you fucking look so ridiculous. Dude, this is gonna get so hot in summer. In the shut mid- up, I'm all slimy already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm dying. Oh, dude, I've got a fan. We'll have to get fans behind the lights. No, because it, the sounds of the frequencies. That's exactly the sound of mate. Well done, Michael. Next question. It's from Joseph Gallagher. Um, are you boys still trying to stay healthy and how's it going? 
Yeah, after the um, because leading up to the AFL stunt, I didn't really eat much. I think for three days I ate like three small meals just because I had no appetite. And then after I went on a bit of a instead of a dr- an alcohol and drug bender, which is normally what happens after a victorious video like that, I just turned to shit food for a while for like a good ten days. I was just eating real shit food, but yeah, back on the health wagon. That was fucking gold, brother. It's pretty easy. My so broken far. ribs healed, so we've been gymming hard. We've gone boxing. It's been going well. You've been to the hospital. Yeah, for you. And you for your fingered rib. boy. Did yeah, you yeah. Get, did you get fingered? No. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> you should have asked for it. I got, oh, check my prostate. Come. Shout out to the nurses and doctors. They were all legends yeah, too. Yeah, fuck yeah, come too. Woo! They don't get enough credit. <laughs> uh, last question Shit, is from... <laughs> Last question is from Clark S. Um, Clark's. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. I was drinking along Pepsi. It tastes the same to me. As long as it's got real sugar in it, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. No! Keep the bottle. As long as it's got real sugar. I can't do diet. There's Coke Zero and shit and the Pepsi Max. It tastes... You've got to stop drinking soft drinks. Yeah. So, yeah, there's still a little bit of remnants he from my stop week of bad food. Now. There was rumors that the... the um, Cast of Friends the was flavors, getting back together. The, the, the flavors are bad. You know how there's... in oh, no yeah, sugar, the, su- they the got sweeteners. Those, the, the sweeteners, sweeteners yeah. yeah. But there's actually some new studies but saying it might, yeah. might not be all bad. Yeah, but who knows? You never yeah, know. Could change, your, time, could could change your mind again soon, darling. Alex Jones will sort that out. <laughs> ah! And that's you it for me. questions. Keep those fucking questions coming in, everyone. That is outstanding. Bravo! All right, the next segment. It's a fucking ripping dog shit. (laughs) 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 Could you shut my fucking neighbor's doors? (laughs) (laughs) All right, for this segment, it has, of course, been renamed. That was so fucking disgusting. And this is a segment where we attempt to say sentences that no human being has ever said in the history of humans. That was one of them. Those weren't words. Oh, they probably were in Spanish or some shit. (laughs) (laughs) That's how them Spanish speak, isn't it? (laughs) Oh my God. All right, now, it's a bit of a weird one, this one, so let's give you guys some examples. So, it's just a sentence that you think no one has ever said before. You can't picture a scenario where... You can't picture a scenario where anyone, under any circumstances, would say something like this. You guys have sent some in. Send some in if you can think of something. Would you like to start with some of the fan ones? Oh... Would okay. you like to start with some of the fan ones? Yeah. <laughs> so nervous. New segment. <laughs> I hope it goes well, everyone. Here we go. Fingers oh, are- I hate Tim and Marty. Fingers are crossed. <sighs> I'm so, so bad. Okay, this one is from Luke Farthing. Farthing. <laughs> Farthing. <laughs> I'm really glad I fingered that baby's nostril. So that cunt Smurf could get her money and leave me alone. Okay, not bad. Yeah, surely no one's ever said that before. Curtis oh, Ramon. Ramon. Did you bring the turtle cum for the spaghetti brownies? Okay, yep. Yeah, I can see how that probably has never been said before. Lopsy Kovikiv. Her kitty was eaten by the interrogator's erogenous Gosh, gooch. gooch. Her kitty... What do you reckon? Her kitty was eaten by the interrogator's erogenous gooch. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess no one. Probably this is groundbreaking. No course. one's ever said this shit before. These sentences have these words have never We've been changed everything. These, these words have never been put together in this order. Can you think of a scenario where someone might have said that, Matthew Brown? No, you can't. Next question. <laughs> Next sentence. <laughs> Next sentence from Maria Trickily. I hate sex. Marty sucks dick. I'm so awesome that I wet myself. 
a triangle is a square, I'm better than myself. There's definitely some of those that have been said. I reckon a triangle is a square. A triangle is a square. I think we've said that many times. And it's correct. Yeah, well, you know, with some adjusting of the formulas. Don't forget that. Uh, I hate (laughs) sex. I'm sure some people have said that before. Rape victims. Matt. Matt, you, yeah, you've had sex and got fingered. Marty sucks dick. That's definitely been said before, but mm. I haven't, obviously. Um, I'm so awesome that I wet myself. That's a, yeah, I've, I've said that. That used to be Michael's motto. That used to be his motto uh, back in primary school. No, in uh, post-18. Post-18. And I'm better than myself. Uh, people have said that before too, I'm sure. All right, next sentence is from Andrej Lekic. I smoke cables while jumping over a wall made out of carpets. I smoke cables. I've I, said that on mushrooms once. I think you. I remember you saying <laughs> I've that. I've said that I've smoked cables. Yeah, I seriously have. Well, he has smoked cables, like the wire. Really need a really Why? hot flame, but you can do no. it. I don't know. Tom Trail. This is his attempt at a sentence that has never ever been said before. <clears throat> My pet frog. Licks my balls under the table in my room while my hamster going doggy on my frogster. I don't it's, know what a frogster That's been is. said. Yeah, that's been said. I remember you saying that to your mum. Mm. Matt. That's been said. So, that's definitely been said. Cloudy. Marty and Michael's videos aren't funny. I'm that's sure been said. Yeah, that's, that's been said. That's <laughs> definitely been said. Um, all right, let's, let's go to our own sentences now after, uh, after that. We'll go one for one. Yeah, okay. I like that. That horse is my biological brother, Your Honor. (laughs) That's good. Surely no one's ever said that before. Not to. Or maybe like in a drama, like a fucking sketch, but not in an actual court. Yeah. Get off my sternum and kiss me. (laughs) That's definitely been said. No way. No one's been on someone's sternum. And then they wanted a kiss after it. A hundred percent. There's fence in my stool. <laughs> Unless you've eaten fence. That's good. I'm definitely, that's my next health problem. <clears throat> fence in my stool. I want to become come and run. <laughs> to become come and run. I think a rapper has rapped that. Yeah, I know. That's what I was scared Stole of with it. the rhyming. The beak growing on my back is infected, Your Honor. Oh, a beak. I'm thumb-fricking this rusty bitch's snatch while my bum gets filled with gluten in the backstairs cabinet leader's home. (laughs) Yeah, that's definitely a new one. Pass the sand against my will, Your Honor. (laughs) Pass the sand? Yeah, I'm picturing the judge has a jar of sand and it's the... Defendant San and he's asking for it. Never happens. It's against never my happened. will. Like, yeah, exactly. He's asking for it against his will, making it his will. You understand? It's a confliction already. You can't do that. The action itself and the words are conflicting. They're headbutting right now. You can't say that. You can't do it. It hasn't been done before. It's groundbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking hair. It's a groundbreaking segment. <laughs> We're changing the fucking world right now. <laughs> this shit's never been said before. <laughs> oh, we fucking fixed starvation. You look again. like the villain of 101 Dalmatians. I feel like I'm on home and away. <laughs> <laughs> Running down the beach. <laughs> All right, oh, so that's the, that's the end of that segment. Let us know what you thought of it, and um, if it's shit, we obviously won't continue. But I feel like there's something there. There's potential. There's something there hidden at the bottom of it. Anyway, DM us your sentences oh. that have probably never been said before. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Enough hey, of that. Hey, do you know? Do you know what, everyone? Let's take a second and just sit back and relax because it's secrets time. If there's a tale, tell the tale. Secrets tale. Tell the secrets tell the secrets. Oh, and that's, that's the segment name change. That's just my house. But... <laughs> that's ah. All right, now we're going to read out some secrets that you fucking sick, twisted dogs have sent in. Some of these, I don't know if they're real or not. Like, we can't tell if you guys are lying, but fucking hell. If these are true, <laughs> this could be some serious jail time for you guys. You guys really trust us not to say anything to the popo. Pause. Should we um do a, we don't condone any of the actions of the people that oh, send us these secrets? Oh, shut up. No. 
All right, first secret is from... Aha, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Aha. All right. Ah! Mm. 17 years old, sleeping with my summer camp boss, who was 24 and also a teacher. She was, she was also a counselor when I was a camper when I was 12. She used to have us all over to drink underage and everyone would sleep in one room until I snuck away every night. Holy fuck, my brother walked in on us because he came home early after he tried to get with her for three years and she said he was too young. I'm three years younger than he is. Haha, <laughs> I have secrets and stories for days. Wow. That, that same chick married one of my brother's best friends, lol. Jesus. That's Whoa. Wow. There are some incestual communities in Australia. That's for shizzle. That's Nizzle. fucking... Dude. That Nick Lale, brother. What is it with teachers and sleeping with What's with that Nick Lale? Wow, man. It must happen all the time. Well, yeah, like, it must be much regular. more than than people find out about. Hopefully. Oh, just a side <laughs> note on that comment. Hopefully. <laughs> Apparently, like the like investigations into this sort of stuff is just, just into the hundreds in Australia. Yeah, there would be. Just it's so ongoing. That type I of see stuff. teachers breastfeeding year seveners. Was there any teachers in your school that was fucking the kids? I heard rumors like because we had a. There was this pretty successful rugby team maybe two years above me, maybe Ben Hannant's uh, age group. I remember he was there. And um, there was rumors that two of the teachers slept with a group of like the football players. But that's all I ever heard. I, but that was all How rumor. How the fuck does that happen? How the fuck does that happen? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'd love if to If you were the teacher, wouldn't you be there. scared like of all the kids and then it gets you're gone? You lose your job, you go to jail, bam. Yeah, Life if, is over. If anyone has a story about teachers- Makes you, know, you, makes you really love wonder though. Like they, they risk so much, so much for just one fuck with a kid. I think <laughs> yeah. it must be pretty exceptional. It's I think it's your the, the little adrenaline rush of doing something that it's they're not so meant to be naughty. doing. It's so naughty. It's more than that. It ruins your life. So one time I made a fake Snapchat account using my teacher's husband's name. I added her and thinking it was her husband, sent me a nude photo of herself. The photo showed her boobs, cooch and face. I shaved the photo, sorry, saved the photo, deleted the account and shared her nude photo of her with several of my friends who then shared them with their friends until the whole school, including her fucking son, got a hold of it. She took a month off from school during this time for personal reasons. Again, another teacher, female teacher. Man, it's like fucking, there's like a Yeah, but epidemic. she didn't mean to do that. She thought oh, it was yeah, her yeah. husband. Yeah, kids. We're uncovering yeah. an epidemic. All right. See, there's, there's got to be something. I guess it's not. I guess a teacher is always responsible, and I do agree with that. But like kids are just as fucking evil. Mm. Well, he, yeah, like that's, fucking, right that's pretty crazy to fucking. Yeah, you got to be pretty sick to do that. All right, this one. Uh, we would hang out there smoking weed and whatnot whilst my mate was house sitting. One evening, my mate explained that he'd had to face down a photo of the owner's wife in the bedroom because oh, she was bridges. so ugly that it was putting him off when he was fucking his girlfriend. It became a bit of a running joke and over the next couple of weeks, all the photos of his wife got turned or faced down by one of us or one of, uh, one of our friends. Anyway, my homie tidied the house before they got back but he forgot about the photos then neighbors never spoke to him or my family again my mate's dad is a stubborn old sod so he never bothered asking why he just started cursing out the neighbor like he'd done something wrong the families ended up never speaking again and only me and my mate know why one time at band camp me and a friend was spit roasting a chick she was getting smashed up the dirty balloon knot. There was there was an accident involving poo. Me being the good friend I am, didn't know to fire said friend of the incident. I just calmly left the room and showered. I came back into the room and turned the light on and there was shit everywhere. He even managed to get it on his face. Didn't even break stroke when he realized what had happened. He just kept going about his business like the hero we all knew he was. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Literally. Now Connor knows who this person is. So, Connie, you do what you want with that information. I'm not going to judge. I used Have to we said any other names? No. Nah. Okay. I used to work at a funeral home and used to take pics of the dead MILFs nude and masturbate to them later. Fuck oh. off, cunt. Whoa! Fuck off, cunt. That's fucking... Free. That is fucking... Remember that Keep scene? Keep it going. I'm enjoying this one. Remember that scene in Bad Boys 2? That, see, that <laughs> is naughty as fuck. Mm. That's so wrong. It's sexy. Imagine looking yeah. over your dead corpse as a soul and going, wow. Remember in Bad Boys 2, the dead Someone's chick with fake tits? Over me. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it. Oh. No, I can't, I can't remember. It's super bad. Bad Boys 2. Oh, secrets time. Here in the United States, there used to be something called the knockout game. 
where you and your friends would sneak up on someone in public and punch them as hard as you can in the face and run away. So one night, me and two friends played the cheeky little game. We hit four people, knocking two out cold. The next day, we find out one of them had died, and since there was no one around and no CCTV, we never got caught. Fuck me. That is some fucked shit, brother. We do not condone king hitting strangers, by the that's way. That's intense. If that's real, we would feel so guilty for the rest Surely of your life. Surely that's not fucking real. <clears throat> don't you fucking reckon, brother? Yeah, like, I don't... No, you wouldn't send that. Yeah, you wouldn't risk it. You know, you even it, but maybe who knows? Maybe if, if we could save the day and find that person's murderer, if we put a post up. If you're fucked up enough to do that, then you're probably fucked up enough to send that into us. That's true. <laughs> People, mm. oh, mm, I'm special for you. Oh, <laughs> I'm special. Don't touch me. Oh. I'm special for you. <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> special biscuits. Mm. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of that secret. You look like an old Jamae from fucking Summer Heights High. I'm on Home and Away. <laughs> if Home and Away is watching this, put me on. <laughs> it actually suits you, long hair. Home and Away. All right, the final segment is, of course, the prank call. Oh, hello, my name is uh, Arnold. Am I uh, speaking? Uh, Arnold from where, sorry? Arnold uh, from Brisbane. I'm a small pork farmer. Just moved to Brisbane, North Brisbane. Uh, okay, what can I help with, mate? Might, uh, looking for a local butcher. Uh, we have um, seven, eight large pig uh, looking to uh, sell to, uh, to butcher. So I, uh, you know, I call around, uh, see uh, who buy, who buy for what price and what type yeah, of pig. Yeah, mate, I'm pretty happy with my uh, pork supplies at the moment, but yeah. All right, well, you, you, tell me, uh, you tell me who, who supplied the pork at the moment, huh? Uh, you tell that, me. mate? You are, I like to know. You know. I like to know a little secret. Yeah, okay. like, well, what's, your, what's your name? Uh, my name Arnold Fine. What is it? Arnold. A A R. Yeah. N O L D. Fine. Yep. Fine spell F E I N E. Yep. Okay. Can I just grab a contact number, mate? Of course so you can. Uh, zero to four. Yeah. Zero to five. Yeah. Zero to seven. Yep. Five five. Yeah. Five seven. Okay, and whereabouts is your farm? Uh, North Brisbane, uh, but Dakabin, up at Dakabin. Okay, what's the name of your company? Uh, no company yet. We we just moved here. I come with a small small uh, family of pigs, and uh, they lay, they're fully grown. Do uh, you have a website or anything like that? Uh, not yet. I have my wife do that. Free range, mate. Um, yes, with a free range, they've only been fed premium ingredients their entire life. One. Yeah, okay, then. Sometimes I uh, experiment with pigs and feed them different things. And one of the pigs, uh, fully grown, I feed him uh, sausage, sausages, beef sausages. Uh, and uh, some beef steak, and his size double. His size double, I think, two year. It's crazy. Some of the pigs. So I, I, I sell you very good price. They're very fresh. Very yeah, mate, I'm like I said, I'm pretty happy with my supplier at the moment. I don't mean to be rude, mate. I just got a customer walked in, so I better keep moving, but I appreciate the call, Arnold. All right, well, I call, call back after. I call, I call back after. I come and sell you pig, darling. Dude, call back after he's had the customer. Now we do a part two of you calling him back. Yeah, is that next week's one? No, no, now. Like, we say he does the customer. You just keep calling him every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my wife, do that. <laughs> all right, I think, all right, I'm going to save this dog's number. <laughs> and I'm going to be fucking Arnold. What's his name? Butcher. I'll just save it as Butcher. And we... Are going <laughs> to call that guy every week as Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Butch is up your game as well. Fucking no one answers their phone. We called about seven. Oh, seven. God. Seven. Oh. We're the best. 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 We're the best.